The word abracadabra comes from an Aramaic or Egyptian phrase meaning I create as I speak. The throat chakra is the gateway to higher spiritual realms and known as the mouth of the Almighty. Mantras are seed emanations of created worlds. The tones produced bring the energy of a specific world into being. The Book of John says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Shamans, natives, and many others connect to ancestors in lesser known realms with chant and shape this world with the wisdom gained there. And according to Liam Thomas Christopher, author of Kabbalah Magic, the voice is one of the most powerful instruments you have at your command. When the vocal cords come together and resonate with the passing of the breath, this action represents lightness and darkness coming together and generating vil and generating vibrations in the field of passing time. Contemplating the act of vibration with this idea serves to link your voice to the creative power of the higher self. If you think that this is just a bunch of new age, philosophy, religious, occult, mumbo jumbo, ponder this. What would happen if you were told you were receiving a huge amount of money? Maybe you would have so much energy you couldn't sleep. Maybe your mind would be racing with ideas of the future. And what if you were told that a beloved has passed away and left the money to you? Maybe you would be depressed, feel guilty, not eat not have happiness, not be able to sleep for some time, because words are power. We most often think in word form, from an avalanche of material and my own experience, thoughts become reality with intention, focus, luck, miracles, and or magic. When we express ourselves without caution and mindlessly mouth words, we are helping to reinforce the world paradigm we no longer wish to be part of. Taking it to some extremes, even atheists may stub a toe and curse a so-named God or saint, while most of us have never swore at the so-named devil for anything. The so-called elites, Illuminati, powers that be, etc., gave themselves these names like they gave themselves the titles King, Queen, President, Ambassador, Dictator, General, etc., they gave themselves these names to harness power. When we say elite, we are actually saying we find that something to be elite over ourselves and or others. We also pave the way for that condition to continue. Folks hell-bent on control and power use words, symbolism, and more to persuade us into their distractions and traps. The word that woke me up the most is soldier. Something I myself felt pride in for a while. Then to hear Mark Passio break it down years later into soul, die, er, I was like, crap, I've been bamboozled. I was proud to be a soul, die, er, only because I fell for something, but nowadays I am paying much closer attention to the words I use and assuming those words are participating deeply in bringing the world into being. I may have not figured out a way to cross the bridge without paying their scummy toll or skip out on their unmoral taxes, but I can start right now to take the power back simply by watching my words. I use deletes. D -E -leets. Bye -bye. D-E-L-E-T-S. Bye-bye. I hope you too come up with many useful words for reading ourselves of this nuisance and many words to bless your beautiful existence. And hey, if you happened onto the wrong video, just take your pro-government, pro-ruler crud to other video channels that make more sense to you. That swindle doesn't exist down here on mine. And those comments will be D-E-L-E-T-E-D. Thank you.